You know, some days things just go right. You know, like they say, everything's coming up roses. Well, today, today something really happened that just kind of totally surprised me. Okay, we got the camera set up here. Now, you got to remember this whole uh, 300TD wagon's been sitting for a long time, and for the last couple months, I've been messing around with this rear hatch trying to get open, putting the key in, turning it, and I was going to say, okay, we're going to come out here today. We're going to shoot a video and have to go through the, the trouble of getting this rear hatch open. And I told my cameraman, okay, rolling, scene one. I stuck the key in, turned the key and pushed, and look at that, the hatch open. Now, I think it's probably because it's warm outside. Uh, but we know from experience, from what we've heard from a lot of our customers over the years, that this rear hatch can be a real problem. And the reason is it gets a lot of moisture down in here. The latching assembly is located right in here, and it's a pretty sophisticated latching assembly. I pulled this panel down, and you can see it up in there. When you live in a high moisture, rust type environment, this can get so bad that you'll have to replace the entire uh, uh, latching assembly. There's no, um, no way around it. But if you can get it open like I just, and we're going to get in here and lubricate it. We're going to really lubricate this. And then we're going to also check the vacuum lock mechanism. Sometimes that vacuum lock mechanism can get fouled up. Even if you pull the inside handle, a lot of times, this one has a, 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 rear, a rear handle intact, by the way. But I tell you, when you can't get these rear hatches open, it can be a real problem. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to film all the trauma I was planning to go through to try to get it open. But I am going to lubricate it. I'm going to use a quality spray. This is a DuPont lubricant with Teflon. Uh, WD-40 doesn't cut it. It doesn't last long enough. You need to spray it with um, a good penetrating lubricant that has some sort of a good long-term lubricant. Uh, you know, lithium grease, that's not going to work either. So I'm just going to get up here and I'm going to spray this. I'm going to use about a fourth of the can and really sp spray this latch mechanism. And then I'll come right in here and do it right here too. And then I've got some, I've got some uh, synthetic grease here. I'm going to, once that soaks, I'm going to let this soak overnight. And I'm going to come in here and I, where I can get to some of the places. I'll get a good light and look up in here. Uh, we're going to come in here and lubricate a lot of the mechanism with this, with synthetic grease, after we've let it set overnight with that spray lubricant. So I'm going to highly recommend, okay, if you have a station wagon, a 300TD or even the 124 300TE or TD, pull this rear cover off and lubricate that entire rear latching assembly. Because I tell you, if you don't do it, someday you're going to get stranded and you're not going to be able to open this rear hatch. And by the way, if you do find that yours is totally seized up and you cannot free it up, we do from time to time have good used latch assemblies available on my website. These are getting harder and harder to find. So if you're looking for something like this, be sure and visit MercedesSource.com. You know, I just have to show you this. I let, I let that soak with the spray lubricant and then got in there and lubricated it up with synthetic grease and an acid brush and <laughs> closed it. Now, look at the difference. I mean, I don't even need to use a key, okay? I just come in here and lightly push the button and, and up she comes. Now, that's, that's the way the, the wagon should close and the hatch should open just like this. Now, there are other problems associated with these rear hatches. And I'll just give you a couple tips while we're on the subject. Uh, number one, if it's not staying up, if you lift it up and it wants to droop down, you have two hydraulic struts, one there and one right there. I have kits and full instructions on my website on how you can change those yourself. If you do it yourself, you're going to save uh, quite a bit of money. So if you're having problems, particularly in the colder months, that your hatch wants to droop down and not stay open, the struts there and there need to be replaced. Also, I've seen these hinges break under extreme cases. We do, we do have uh, good used hinges on our website. I've got a couple really good used working and tested wiper motor assemblies. These motor assemblies will fail in here once again. It's uh, due to, to moisture buildup. 
what happens with these wagon hatches is you get moisture that comes in through the seal, you get moisture that comes in through the wiper assembly, and there are no drains. There are no drains along this bottom edge on the wagon hatches. So what I do is I come in and, and drill a small hole in this corner right here, and I drill another small hole, maybe an 8 uh, to 3 16 inch hole. If you do drill a hole though, you must coat it with miracle paint or you're going to have a problem with future rust. In fact, anytime you have the panel off right here on the back of your own 300 TD, I recommend you come in here and coat this whole bottom edge with miracle paint right up along inside. Get a brush and tip it down and coat this with miracle paint because this area in here will rust on the back side if you're in a high moisture environment or if you're particularly in a salt area where they salt the road. So uh, we've, we carry that synthetic grease on our website if you want to really lubricate this up properly and we have um, a lot of resources. I mean I have a lot of resources for these 300 TD diesel wagons. They're probably the, the most popular daily driver old Mercedes on the road today. The beloved W123 300 TD wagon. Um, we can help you with a number of issues that you might have on this car. So we, I hope you found these tips helpful and I hope you can get your wagon hatch working properly again and nothing beats a little preventative maintenance. You put the key in, turn the key, look at that. Cut.